All right, guys, welcome back to the 12th and final part of season one in our Arsenal career mode. We have just two games to go, and we are going to start off here with an away game against the richest club in the world, Newcastle. Uh, Arsenal beat them the other day in the Premier League at home 2 0, so hopefully we can have something similar here at uh, St. James's Park. But yeah, I mentioned it in the last video, uh, not sure as of yet whether we're going to continue on with season two. To, the videos haven't done that great the last few parts in FIFA 22, so it'll all depend on how, well, pretty much how, how this last part does. So if you're watching, please do drop a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. But anyway, we'll play these final two games. Uh, it might not matter anyway because our uh, our manager rating is still very, very low. So it'll be interesting to see what happens after these two games. Obviously, our position can't change no matter what. Uh, we're in fourth position. We can't do any better, but we can't do any worse either. Nobody can catch us. So we'll jump in now and get this part going. But yeah, please do drop a like if you do want to see a season two and let me know down in the comments if that's what you want to happen. Because I've no problem doing it, but the support really does have to be there. So we'll play that by ear for now. But two games to go. We're in the Champions League for next season. Whether we play that, obviously, as I said, is, a, is the big question. But we've made it to the Champions League, anyway. We secured that in the last part. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. Martin Odegaard has a goal, but wide of the target. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. But yeah, good win for Arsenal against Newcastle. Last weekend, 2 0 at the Emirates. Uh, I don't think they played that great, but to be fair, the two goals that were scored, Saka got it going with a lovely finish, but Martinelli, who's on the ball now, scoring the second goal with pretty much I think it was actually his first touch of the game he had come on for Saka who Newcastle I think had sort of targeted during the match he got a lot of got a lot of knocks during the match and had to go but Martinelli if you'd have played a full game and scored like that it would be impressive but with your first touch of the game to score a goal and take the goal the way he did was uh, it was fantastic quite frankly and it's a pity with Martinelli as Callum Wilson, good save by Ramsdale, but I was just saying about Martinelli, a couple of years ago he looked like he was going to be the next big thing for Arsenal, and he still has the chance to do that, but obviously injuries and stuff have got in the way, so I hope he gets a bit of a run, but yeah, he was going to be the next big thing, but to be fair, it's hard to leave out Saka and Smith, Smith Rowe to bring him in. I'm not sure if you can play all of them together. It's a little bit like, can you play Smith Rowe and Odegaard together? I don't think so, as party forces a good save. Calvert Lewin thought he was going to get another headed goal there. Mentioned so many times the threat that he brings from corners as well as scoring with his feet. Calvert-Lewin again, blocked. Oh, I thought he was going to get a second chance, but it's another corner. All the pressure is on Newcastle. Martinelli on the ball. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. We mentioned Martinelli taking his goal in real life, but I tell you one thing. He's took it just as well in the virtual world. What a strike this is on his weaker left foot. I mean, we questioned the goalkeeper so many times in this game, but no goalkeeper is saving that one. It's dipping in under the crossbar, and it's that, quite frankly, is one of the best goals I think I've scored. I've scored some beauties, but that's an out-and-out out cracker. And what a way to get us in front in this match. Can they come up with a response what a strike by Gabriel Martinelli. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Oh, and it's gone in. Newcastle's first real threat. They get a corner. And they've drawn level just before the break. That really is the first chance that they've had. Yeah, I was just going to say Ramsdale. Should that have gone under his body? I don't think so. Martinelli running at them now. Can we get back in front before half time? Blocked. 
it's going to be one all at the end of the first half. Newcastle with their only real chance. Martinelli's goal worthy of winning any match, you'd have to say. But unfortunately, we're going to go in at half time not winning. But we should have enough firepower, you would think, in the second half to win this game. Showing excellent judgment to intercept. All right, guys, so we're into the second half here. Still one all. No real chances as of yet. Maybe we could have one here. Martinelli, he's at the back post. All right, right the, it went to Calvert Lewin. I hate that. That's one thing I don't like. I couldn't have held down square to cross that anymore. And I played it to the front post rather than the back. Saka. Straight ass. Woodman. Well, he should score, of course, but that's but it could be time to make some changes. Make Premier bring on Pepe, Smith Rowe, maybe Martinelli's in again. And Martinelli, we're probably going to take him off, or we, we might have to. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that, but another wonderful finish once again with his weaker left foot. Obviously, not quite as good as the first goal. I don't think we've scored any goal near that, and we probably never will. See what they can do here. But I think we'll leave him on now. I was going to take Martinelli off, but I think we have to give him a chance to score his hat trick. But we will make a couple of changes. Bring on Smith Rowe. And we will bring on Nicholas Pepe. Oh, I didn't realise I'd won the ball back. It was a bad time to pause the game. And they will make the change now. Should really be winning this game from here, but would like a third goal just to make it more comfortable. Could do with that. Just to be fair, from Newcastle's one real chance they scored, so if they get another one, could be here. Alright, well done by Gabriel. Smith Rowe. Mm, tried to take him on, but got nowhere. Alright, off to side netting. As you can see there, our final fixture of the season will be against Everton at home. Not quite sure if Everton have anything to play for. Can they get into Europe? We'll have a look at the table before that game. But as I've uh, said a few times, we have nothing to gain, but nothing to lose either. Calvert-Lewin making the run. Checks back in on his left foot. and Yeah, that's why it's his weaker foot. I think we've seen exactly why it's his weaker foot right there. Oh, I thought he was going to go short to the first defender. Calvert-Lewin was going to catch him, but not to be. Stuart, what have you made of that performance? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Fluency of movement. He brings it down, but what to do? And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Martinelli's going to have a chance for the hat-trick. Oh, he's put it wide. It was good football, well played by Pepe, and the ball through to Calvert-Lewin. He set up the chance for Martinelli, and really Martinelli should have scored to make it a hat-trick. Gabriel, big and strong in the air, wins it back for us. Not the best pass there by Calvert-Lewin. Bit of a quiet game for him, but... To be fair, he can't do it all the time. And since we brought him into the team, I was going to say when Aubameyang was injured, but to be honest, we were playing him before that. Well defended. We brought him into the team even before Aubameyang got injured. So he's been absolutely brilliant. So if he has a quiet game every now and then, I think he's entitled to that, considering all he's done for us. It's down to him, not solely to him, but a big part of it why we're going to finish in the Champions League spots. The block. And that should be that, and it is. It's a 2-1 victory. It could have been a little bit more comfortable. Newcastle only really offered a wee bit of a threat. And, uh, but we got the three points. That's the main thing. And an absolute wonder goal from Martinelli as well. Well worthy of getting on any match underway. Our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match. 
He's going to get very high he deserves a high grade for that well, volley in the first half. I have to say that's that's one of the best goals I've scored this year. Not just in career mode, but across Ultimate Team that I've been playing as well. Off of the up, I don't think I've scored a goal quite like that. Superbly taken from Young Martinelli. And as you can see down below there, guys, it is very tight at the top of the table. I thought a number of games ago that Man United were going to win comfortably but they're only one point clear of Chelsea Liverpool they're two points clear of them but Liverpool have played like us 37 games so I think Manchester I think I mentioned it in the last part we'll have a look are Manchester United and Chelsea playing each other next let's have a look when did we play yeah we played we just played on the 16th of May there you see it on the 18th of May Man United and Chelsea so the winner of that, you would think, is going to win the Premier League because on the final day, Man United are away and Chelsea are at home to Watford. You'd give Chelsea the advantage if it goes down to the last day, but if Man United beat them, that should be all over because even though it's an away game, Man United, you would think, will beat Crystal Palace. But we'll jump forward here and see how the table changes. We're at the 18th of May now. We will stop it there. Yeah, Manchester United have won that game. Let's see what they won it by. Obviously, it has no bearing on us, but I'm just interested. A 1-0 victory, so Man United are going to be the champions. They are going to be the champions by, you would think, four points. But it could be a little bit less if, if they fail to beat Crystal Palace. Let's have a look at the rest. Obviously, we're going to collect fourth place comfortably from West Ham. Manchester City down in sixth. They're not even guaranteed to finish in sixth place because Leicester and Spurs can still catch them. Um, and we go down to the bottom three now. Who's going to be relegated? Leeds United. Not a good omen really for real life because they haven't been playing well in real life either this season. So Leeds, Watford, Norwich. Could Brentford be caught? I don't think Brentford would drop back in even if Norwich were to win the last game. The goal difference is a little bit much to try and catch. Not too worried about those wage demands. So, just the one game remaining for all teams now. Before we jump in, we'll have a look at the the cups and the Champions League and FA Cup and stuff like that. See who's playing in what finals. We'll also see who won the Carabao Cup. Just for info, as I said, once again, our manager Hayton has dropped down too. So it could be a it could be a disappointing finish to our season if we do get sacked. The Emirates FA Cup. Manchester United won that. They beat Leicester. 5-1 in the final. A fairly comprehensive victory. So Man United going to do the double. Or is it a triple? No. Liverpool winning the Carabao Cup. UEFA Champions League. Who's in the final? Liverpool... Borussia Dortmund so Liverpool could win a double as well the Carabao Cup and the Champions League I'd have them favourites against Bar Borussia Dortmund Paris Saint-Germain and Atletico Madrid not two teams you'd expect to see in a final of the Europa League maybe the final of the Champions League but that is still one hell of a final you have the Conference League as well new this year Michelin and Galatasaray any other ones FIFA World Cup that begins obviously in the summer when we finish this season. But yeah, let's jump into our final game of season one. As I said, if you do want to see season two continue, which I am would be more than happy to do, all you have to do is leave a comment down below letting me know you enjoy it. And please do leave a like on the video. I think we have to start Martinelli again. Um after his performance and his goal, particularly his first goal in that match. Um I think we'll give Pepe a run as well. Why not? Go with that team for our final game of the season. And obviously, time will tell after the match whether we get to keep our job or not. I would think not now at this point because we were on 54 for a long time. 54 manager rating. And all of a sudden, then a few weeks ago, it went up by two and then it went up another one to 57, I think. But now it's back to 54, so I do have a bad feeling, but I could be wrong. 
Is the other anybody else I've seen on YouTube doing career modes that have uh, that have lost their job actually haven't made it to the final season? I don't think I've come across anybody who was sacked uh, at the end of a season, so it's doubtful. But we might get away with it. We'll see. We'll wait and see. We will wait and see. Charlie Taylor. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Andre Gomes. And back with Gordon. Into the advancement. Arsenal really hit most of the right notes in the win Martinelli against the does well again. United. Calvert Lewin. Oh, well. Well, He's had a wonderful season for us, but there was nothing wonderful about that, I can promise you. Rafa, man under pressure in real life, Everton. To be honest with you, I used to say it when I was younger, if I wasn't an Arsenal fan, I would probably be an Everton fan, because I've always loved the team, always loved the players, but I have to say, Rafa, they're, not, they're playing as poor as I've ever seen them, Pepe. Took the shot really well, but a good save by Pickford. But yeah, real big fan of Everton. So disappointed to see them struggling as much as they are. But I hope they can fix it. To be honest, the only time I don't cheer for them is when my uh, beloved Arsenal are playing them. out. Other than that, I'd like to see them do well. So hopefully they can turn it around. Problem for me when I grew up, when I was younger, my whole family, anybody interested in football supported Arsenal so I felt obliged to support them obviously I have no regrets about that now even through the troubled times we've had over the last few years not winning it and playing poorly I've always said that you can't be a fan of a football team or any team in any sport can't be a fan during the good times if you're not willing to support them during the bad but yeah there was a time when I was younger that I sort of tried to say to people well, oh I'm an Everton fan and in the end I sort of had to support Arsenal but I wouldn't change that now it's just the way it is it happens in a lot of families I know plenty of people who you know, support Liverpool Man United purely because of their family supporting them and that's, that's perfectly understandable but always had a soft spot for Everton but I want to beat them today in this game here. So, you know, soft spot for them today. Odegaard took it well. Oh, I was about to say took the goal really well, but it just goes wide. A good move, but just struggling to break down Everton at the moment. Sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. So confirm Chelsea did score in that match, and they hold the Aces presently, leading 2-1. Tierney makes the run. Tierney. Great ball. Odegaard. It's a wonderful goal. It really, really is. It's as good as goal as you'll see. I was trying to get him to celebrate with Tierney, but he didn't seem to want to, so we'll move on. Maybe as good a goal as you'll see is a bit of an exaggeration, a big exaggeration, actually, but I sort of meant from a team standpoint. It was a lovely team goal. Conte has it. And Odegaard with his head. Not known for heading, but he took it really well. And here come James Rodriguez. Of course, he has left Everton in real life now. I think it's Qatar he's gone to, is it? Maybe I could be wrong with that one. Somewhere like that. Well done, Thomas Party. Oh, don't turn that way, though. All right, we got away with it. We got away with it. And we should be going in at half time 1 0 to the good, thanks to Martin Odegaard's headed goal. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. So we're into the second half now, guys. I just made a couple of substitutions at half time, brought on some of our younger players, Max Arns at right back, and uh, also brought on Nketi up front. He just got his first touch there. I thought that was going to open up for him, but yeah, just to give them a run. Obviously, this game has no bearing, so might as well give them a chance. Calvert Lewin will probably be disappointed not to grab a goal in the final two games of the season, but nonetheless, he's been brilliant for us this season and a testament to why we finished in fourth position when for a long time it looked like we would do well to get in maybe the top five or even top six. He's been magnificent for us. Still like a Bamiak, nothing. Nothing to be said about that, it's not his problem. 
you know, obviously he went out injured. We were still playing him a little bit, but to be honest, I've been uh, very impressed with Calvert Lewin because he just gives us that extra tread, as I've said before, at corners. You know, that maybe a Bamiang. He's fairly tall, a Bamiang. He's big, strong, but heading ability isn't quite there. Certainly, when you compare it to Calvert Lewin, lovely skill by Martinelli, but not the best pass. Well, a change to the scoreline in the Chelsea game. Let's get the news from Alex. It's a goal for Chelsea. Off the ball oh, challenged here by Gabriel. That should be a la card. I think it was Gabriel in here. He's won it back first, though, so all is forgiven. Thanks, as always, Alex. Martinelli, quick feet. Oh, I shouldn't. No, it's all right. I actually went to play that to Parity, but thankfully I was able to. What well, is Tom? Nicholas Pepe on there. Went the pass it to Thomas Party, but he was a mile offside, so luckily we were able to readjust it, but the move broke down anyway, so it didn't matter. Godfrey. And on the ball, Keane. Taylor. Richarlison. Richarlison. A little bit like the ever, a little bit like the Newcastle game, Everton with their first. I wouldn't say their first attack because they have attacked a few times, but no real chances. And with their first big one, leveled the game. And Richarlison, there you see a 24 and 36 games. I think he's going to win the Golden Boot. He was one ahead of. I think it could have been Mo Salah or maybe it was, I don't think it was Harry Kane, I was going to say Harry Kane, I don't think it was him, but Mo Salah I'm going to say, he was one or two ahead of him and would have got another goal there now. Handball. So Richarlison, he wouldn't be somebody you'd, you'd think would win the Golden Boot, I mean, big fan of him as well, I think he's very, very good, but uh, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be my contender for Golden Boot in the game or in real life either certainly in real life anyway just doesn't score enough i don't think that's the only flaw he has good player though can we get back in front and finish the season off with a win i would like to win obviously it doesn't matter but one more big chance to win this game if they do try to get as many points as possible have been brilliant so far But it looks like it's going to finish up as being a draw. The Chelsea game. Let's find out all about it, shall we? From Alex Scott. It's another goal for Chelsea. It's now 4-2 with 86 minutes on the clock. 4-2 to Chelsea. Obviously, they left it too late. <laughs> they were beaten by Man United. Be interested to see how the Man United go game goes against Palace there. But that's it. Season one has come to an end, guys. We finished off with a one-all draw against Everton. Not a terrible result, but we probably should have won the game. Odegaard put us in front with a wonderful team goal. He finished it off with his head. And there you have it, season one. We're not playing in any of the cups. We're in no finals, unfortunately. So that is season one done for us. Manchester United won 4-0, so it didn't make a difference, but... Yeah, Man United. Now, I, I did say it during the match. I was thinking Calvert-Lewin wouldn't be happy with being subbed off at half-time, but he's still very happy, still a crucial player for us. But there you see it, Man United 85 points, Chelsea 81, Liverpool 78. We finished six points behind them. To be honest, we did well to close the gap because there was a time where I think when I first got into the fourth position that we were 12, 13, maybe even more points than behind and there you can see it it was Ronaldo and Salah sorry that were just behind Richarlison but he won it comfortably in the end by four goals Calvert-Lewin finished in the top six in terms of goals 18 for him in his first season for us not bad at all decent return now we will move up towards the end of the season I'll just quickly get up to this part the 31st of june and see what lies in store for next season do we have a job next season time will tell all right guys so just before we end this season and learn our fate we're just gonna have a quick look through our emails and also check out and see who won what competitions a lot of players there returning from loan 
one message I've got a few of these performance review meetings from the board but also one of them a financial report it's probably one of the rare objectives we did now I mentioned before earlier in the season much earlier that there was a problem at the start when FIFA 22 first came out that a lot of the objectives even if you were doing them and doing them correctly it wasn't recognizing that you'd completed them but I can't use that as a total excuse because in years gone by, I ignored them completely and there was never an issue of uh, losing the job. That's something they've done this year. They've made it more uh, important and made it more beneficial beneficial to your job. But there's one that we've done. I'm not sure whether it'll make much of a difference, but we did manage to increase our, what is it? Keep player wages in check, ensure, ensure they didn't increase by more than 10%. So a rare objective completed. Let's have a look. Obviously, we know Man United won the Premier League. Emirates FA Cup, as I said, was won by Manchester United Carabao Cup. Liverpool won that. Liverpool were also in the Champions League final. The UEFA Super Cup, who won that? Villarreal beat Chelsea on penalties. Okay. Champions League. I expect Liverpool to win this. They did, just by two goals to one, though. In the Europa League, certainly a cracking game in the end. Relatively uneventful, a 1-0 win. For Paris Saint-Germain. But here we go. We'll end this season. And see what lies for us. Okay. So surprisingly. I am very surprised. They've decided to give us another chance. They would like us to remain in the post. For next season. I have to say I am surprised. Um, but the only thing I would say is. The manager rating. Once it got to 54. It tried to go back up. But never went below that point. So uh Anybody I've seen getting sacked from their playthroughs on YouTube, I think they were in around the 40s or even down in the 30s manager rating. So we uh, surprising. It's still surprising to me. I have to say I did expect the uh, bad news, but we've uh, we've managed to hold on to our job for next season. But as I said, it all depends on you, wonderful people, and you are wonderful people. I appreciate all the support that you give me. But as I said, unfortunately, the views and the likes have just dropped off quite significantly recently but if this final part does somewhat well I will continue on with a season two I will at least start it and see how it goes but yeah I appreciate any support you can give me like guys it, uh, it does mean a lot drop a like on the video subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you again in the very near future take care of yourselves guys peace out